Hey everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome back to Production Line. And, uh, you know, last time I said, boy, wouldn't it be funny if somebody just happened to stumble across this and come in at the very beginning of this episode, blah, blah, blah. And uh, somebody left me a comment and said that that is exactly what happened. And I should know better because, like, uh, two-thirds of the views for pretty much every video I do comes from just some random... Uh, comes from a non-subscriber. And you have to assume that most of those non-subscribers are coming in um, from recommendations and so forth. So, um, you know, at least uh, I sounded dumb to uh, in the very first minute to all sorts of new people who are just discovering my channel. Um, that's always fun. So, uh, let's see. Between episodes, um, our uh, friend Zan Zander, who's been leaving some uh, good comments here on this series, he suggested... Uh, or uh, he left several suggestions, but um, over on his channel, he made a, a video where he showed his factories, and he makes extensive use of stockpiles. And uh, stockpiles definitely work a lot better now than they did when the game was new. And uh, so I took a look at what he was doing, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try adding some stockpiles to my factory. Now, I haven't done it quite as well as he did. Um, he, he really had some... some uh, he had a, a pretty crazy factory going on there, a little small, but but he really used the uh, stockpiles very well. And I was like, you know what, I bet you I can uh, take advantage of stockpiles along the same line. So I'm trying to do that. I threw another one in here. Now, you may remember at the end of the last episode, I did build a stockpile over here that's storing uh, uh, metal plates and glass, and it's, it's, it's providing uh, benefits as well. And now I set up some stockpiles up here to store uh, windows and doors and, and that sort of thing. Um, also, uh, some people left recommendations that the reason that our door panel and uh, other things are having these no export rooms is because when it says that it takes one, 3 minutes and 12 seconds or whatever, that's not to make one door panel. Like, it just doesn't work. Because it's obviously not taking 3 minutes and 12 seconds to make one door panel. That's probably how long it takes to make 4 door panels. Um, yeah. So, obviously that number is not correct um, on the other hand well oh on the other hand I don't have these connected that's why they're not uh, not collecting any resources I was wondering why will you not hook up there we go alright great there it's filling up much more like it so we can use these stockpiles as well to see how uh, how we're doing on our production side of things. So it looks like we are not quite actually producing enough windows. So I got rid of too many uh, too many make window stations. Now why why is this not making windows? Do I only have the one make window station? Oh, so I shouldn't have gotten rid of so many. Alright. Wasted money there, but that's alright. That's alright. We'll be fine. Um, so if we go into fit door and then under fit window will be make window and then I'm just going to plop one of those down right here like that I think. Does that connect up to everything? Looks like it does. Very good. Alright, great. And um, yeah, so uh, lots of good information there. I also set up a, a stockpile over here for our brakes. I set up some stockpiles here for tires and wheels, and a, st a stockpile here for steel to feed into the brakes. I think it was the brakes that they said, uh, hey, dum dum, uh, these make up enough brakes all at once uh, to where you don't need to worry about. Even though it does say output brake one and time three minutes and nine seconds. So obviously something right like those numbers do not match up because it does output more than one break for for uh, every three minutes and nine seconds and uh, here I don't have any output room for these wheels even though they are everything is connected up right it's kinda hard to tell but yeah, I can see that I have a uh, conveyor belt going over the the thing otherwise it wouldn't have steel in there right and we still have no... Okay, no, those tires. Great. I did get rid of another one of our servo things, but we are keeping up on servos. Um, or not servos, axles. So uh, it's not that we're producing 
too many of them. And uh, it looks like we're really keeping up well with our, our importers. They're not uh, being overburdened, and I think those stockpiles really help. So, um, uh, yeah. yeah, it was good to look at that. And we've sold through most of our cars, so that's great. I haven't adjusted any of the prices or anything since uh, we were last recording, so nothing has changed there. Um, uh, loan, very useful. Prices must be way low. No, they're not even that low. So a lot of it must be the uh, great um, efficiency that we have and uh, and uh, our, our ability to make our own components. Uh, so we were going to double up on the fit lights and we were going to double up on fit horn for sure and seats and windscreen but not dashboard. So lights through windscreen, huh? So it's just going to take a little bit of time to, to get this line moved here. Lights through windscreen. Whoops. Oh well. I always end up doing that. Another loan available. Going to have to zigzag around a little bit through here, but that's no big deal. around this corner very good all right let's see so uh, lights through windscreen huh um, uh, fit engine fit steering assembly great that's, so that's all the accessories fit lights nothing underneath fit lights other than probably make lights or something yeah so if I go here I do have enough room to go around this corner although I could go like right like right there and if I have one here I have the other one there. I can make that work. All right, let's try that. Fit lights. Fit horn. Right? Yeah, that's going to be fine. Um, they're a little close together, and I'm not thrilled about that, but we'll be all right. Uh, fit seats. And uh, fit windscreen. Fit windscreen. There we go. And conveyor. And we should be able to. And they're going to come down to fit dashboard, right? What What is going on? Yeah, fit, fit dashboard is a little under a minute. All right, so I just need to let those guys work their way through. That's fine. There. As a matter of fact, it's fine all the way down to here, and then it's just going to jump over to there. Uh, oh, great. Now we can make our own windscreens, and we need to do some research. Um, those, those seats are very expensive. Uh, so I think we might do well... Or should we add, you know what, let's let's add another body type in there. Diversify our production a little bit since we are going to be producing quite a bit faster with these uh, with these additions that we're putting in there. We would do well. Now, I'm not quite we're going to have to go around this stockpile unfortunately. So, I guess I could have left most of the uh, could have left most of those things in there, but oh well, what's done is done. Also, I noticed as I was going through and, and uh, selling the um, things on the last one, you don't get a refund for all the all the stuff that you have in your stockpiles, so that really sucks because uh, some of that stuff is really expensive. Um, and, uh, you know, it'd be nice if you get a refund for it when you uh, tear down your uh, things to replace them, but you don't, so what are you going to do? Okay. Go back up here. You're going to combine right there. You're going to come out like this. You're going to come over and down and over and down. You're going to go over. You're going to connect up there. You're going to go like that. You're going to go from here into there. You're going to go from here into there. And then over to like that. 
All right, no route to stockpile. That's fine. Let's get these. Um, these are lights. I don't need to worry about. We're gonna do extra robots. Predictive stock control. And I believe we. No, we just set it up to make our own windscreens, right? Because those are expensive. Get those set up. Now the seats uh, will be good to do, I think, because the uh, the leather is very expensive. Um, I may have already said that, but you know what? I'm going to say it again. Leather is very expensive. Um, one of the most expensive components there is, so it seems like the leather seat's probably also very expensive. I don't know. Who knows? Okay, uh, so those are all set up. We do need to get routes to these stockpiles, which is uh, just going to put additional burdens on our already burdened um, import slots over on this side, unfortunately. Probably would uh, be smart to set up some some um, some some stockpiles so I don't have to deal with nonsense like this, because like Look at all those accessories and stuff being brought in. Yeah. Although it's pretty much catching up. If I put a... Uh, the stockpile is 2x2. Two two. They are 2x2. Two two. So I could put a uh, stockpile right here. And uh, make this for like um, uh, maybe like leather and horns, so we can set it up for like three different things. We go horns, um, leather, and seats. Oh, Napa leather, very fancy. All right, and then uh, we go. Uh, yeah, 12 of each. 12 of each should be good. One more. Come on. There you go. Nice. All right. And we close that down. Then we can change these over to only local. And uh, maybe it would have been smarter to set a... Uh, set that stockpile a little closer to where these are, but we'll see what happens. Speed it up a little bit. That doesn't seem like anything's running out of uh, running out of imports. And this is filling up, and it's filling up from down here. So it doesn't seem to be hurting us any. And uh, yeah, it looks like these are all going through just fine. Fit Electronics is our, our slow spot, but it's not, you know, it's not uh, backing us up too badly. And uh, we are selling more cars than ever. Um, definitely our backlog is slowly pushing backwards. Or opening up. I don't know. You know what I mean. We're opening up a little bit of a gap in some of these places. Like right here. It's not much, but it's a little bit of a gap. You can see a little bit opening up down here as well. Pretty well backed up up to that point, though. No export room up for those windows. Yeah, just uh, just have too many windows, too many doors. That's all right. I'd rather have a few too many than not enough. Uh, we did discover the um, the uh, windshield technology. Uh, where do we put in those windshields? Is it here? Fit windscreen. It is. Very nice. Um, do we need servos for any of these other things up here? No, it's pretty much just the uh, just the thing. Okay, good. We do have steering column and steering wheel broken down. Um, so with the windscreen, you only need one, and it's every so basically every two minutes we'll need a windscreen. So if we go to fit uh, accessories, right? No, really, that the windshield is an accessory. Um, 8 minutes and 30 seconds. So I definitely would need like 5 of those things. Wow, fits right there. What a weird, uh, 
What a weird thing that is. Um, connect you up right there. It's something else. Now let's see, does, how long does this actually take? I mean, I don't think it takes... Oh, I guess the time is based on this clock, right? Let's see. So it'd be 12.49 when it gets done. Well, that seems about right. Okay. Alright, so that's one of those. Um, make windscreen. Two. Nope. Never seem to fit that way, do they? So if I put that one there, three. Ah, very nice. Four. Oh, so close. Alright, I gotta make sure I leave a little gap here so we can get that export thing done. Five. Oh, that's right. I think that's all we needed was five, right? A lot of stuff I've connected up over here. Kind of a mess. Insufficient resources. Is that another windscreen? Boy, oh boy. They are everywhere, huh? Alright, insufficient resources on all those. Now you have sufficient resources. Alright, let's switch you over to local only, please. Windscreen. Only local. Great. Alright, so I'm going to want to move those make axles eventually. Oh, our funds are on the way down again. Um, there we go. Yep, because our import prices are very high. So, they're staying very high too. They're not really dropping down very low anymore. So, we really seem to be in an era of uh, permanent high prices. It does make it a lot harder to make a profit on the car. Um, we are not uh, moving so fast, but you know what? I think we have enough money to where we can afford another research facility or two. No, I want the fancy ones. Is there a big power plant? I saw somebody had a big power plant. I think Xander had one on his video. Ah, so it's just something you have to research. Got it. All right. I'm going to put another one of those and another one of those. That'll help speed up our discovery of this new vehicle type. It'll be exciting to get another new model out. We haven't had any new models for a while yet. Look at that. Opening up a little space. Well, I think we've already always had a little space opened up in here. It'd be nice if you guys would let some of these cars through. Opening up a tiniest little bit of space in here. Not really enough. So where's our where's our backlog at now? Does it still fit tires? Why does that take so long? I guess I could uh, start researching some additional robots maybe. It would be nice to do like um, servos and metal rolling because we buy a lot of servos. Advanced glass processing. What does that do? Oh wait, it says right there. Makes, no, I already have make window. Oh, unlocks upgrade at those slots, got it. I'm not really sure what that means. 
Um, increases refund when demolishing equipment. Well, that would be nice, but it's not really that much of a, not really that big of a deal. There's our high output power plant. Don't really need to worry about those. More robots. Let's do some more robots. Let's get those in, in here. And uh, we can really speed those things up. Now, oh, got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'll be nice. And we can apply that to a lot of different things. Pretty much everything. Why not spend a bunch of money all at once? It's not really going to be necessary. Like, these guys aren't going to need it, right? Like, the ones where there's already a gap opened up. But we'll do it anyways. Uh, so we have 151 there, 149, 219. There's no way everything is less than two minutes back through here. I guess they are. 145 there. I'm, I, okay, there we go. Sure, why not? And let's go robots galore. And what do I want to do after that? I don't need to manufacture steering wheels. I think I do want to go into the advanced, where was that advanced manufacturing? Techniques. There we go. Advanced products. Add to queue. And uh, is it servos? There we go. That'll be helpful. Still think maybe we should double up on this fit tire. And why why is it uh, have insufficient resources? We just have a long ways to go. We're just not making enough tires. Wow. Guess I do need more uh, more tire manufacturing, especially if I'm going to increase the capacity. All right. Um, so we go to fit body. Oh, I got to design that new sports car too. Um, no, nope, not fit body. Fit engine? Yes, weirdly. Fit engine. Fit wheel assembly. Fit tires. Make tire. All right. So we'll make tires right there. That'll help us fill up our stockpiles a little faster tire stockpiles get those out of here and um, so if I want to try to double this up I could have one yeah I could do it Had to sacrifice a car for it, but we can make it happen. Right? One, two, three. Oh. Hmm, can't quite make it happen, can we? Not without uh, doubling up on fit steering column, so we're going to do that too. All right, so... Um, fit engine... Fit wheel assembly, fit tires, like that, and it's, uh, we'll just do two steering column things. Um, fit steering column. Why will you not uh, click on that, you silly thing? You're holding up the entire, uh, holding up the entire episode. Do I already have that selected? Hmm. Okay. 
Weird. Alright. And then we go conveyor. And uh, we're going to want to have a little room for a backup. I'll break you out there and go down like that, like that. And then you connect up and you connect up. Oh, come on. And you go there. Like, oh, silly game. Conveyor. Sure, why not? All right, and then we run the resource conveyor across like this and down to here. Okay, I didn't really want to do that, but if you insist, game. And uh, then we change this to uh, only local, and we do the robots and stuff. Silliness. And we do that on this one as well. Only local upgrades. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Here, I don't really need to worry about the local thing, so I'm just going to do the upgrades. And on this one, same thing. All right. Wasn't that worth it, you guys? Aren't you glad you hung around for the extra? What? How, how long did I add to this video doing that nonsense? Like four minutes? Um, yeah, real good stuff. But now, we're going to have all these extra... Probably not going to be able to keep up with all the extra tires that we need. Um, and I'll have to add even more extra stuff. But uh, we we uh, eased up on that backlog. Look at now the uh, backlog is going to move further back. And it's going to be something else entirely. Um, but for now, that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I hope you'll come back for the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Click the like button. Leave me a comment. All those great things that help make our channel so popular. Uh, I really appreciate you being here, and I'll see you next time. Bye!